Hello everybody, Fantastic Mr. LP here, just wanting to let you know that I'm a complete and utter idiot. Completely stupid, and you can beat me up, and you can call me names, you can troll my account, whatever. I am so freaking sorry. But, when the game crashed on me, it crashed at a really bad time. Because as it turned out, I had just saved over, because we were going to rematch that skeleton guy, um, who's on top of this tower here. We had used the hammer for its one function, which I will rage about when we get back to it. Um, we defeated the boss, basically, of this area, which, like, right before we had to use the magical hammer to get across the bridge. I'll explain why. Um, but yeah, so, I am so sorry. Basically, here's what happened. We got back to um, the area of death after a really long loading screen and me singing for about <laughs> two and a half minutes which I was hoping to put into a funny little side video but no 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 of course not <sighs> sorry sorry I'm, I'm more mad at myself really than uh, than fraps for um, stopping working but that's because I think I yeah switched off back so anyway as I was saying um, yeah, I really effed up. Sorry. Basically, we just got back to the land of the dead. We went and we went and kicked the ass of the boss of this area, which is pretty much um, the same skeleton who was guarding the hammer. Only he had archers and other soldiers around him. We didn't really get anything from him ex besides some experience, and we missed a uh, awesome musical by yours truly. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. I am so, so, so sorry! Once again, I am so sorry. Anyway, let's take on this bastard. Because I'm going to want that armor. Come forward, mortal. I crave your soul. Ah, come on! Get him! Get him! Get him! You know, I'm wondering what would happen if I fall in third person mode. Wait, I wonder if that's what I have to do. Not fight him in third person mode, but hit him with a heavy attack. Come on, come on, no, no, no! Why can he do that? Why can he do that? Why can he do that? Doesn't make any sense why he should be able to do that. No, come on! I don't care who he is. Having chainmail armor does not make you this impenetrable! Maybe there's something I'm missing in the arena. Hold on, let me just... Let me just circle around quickly, see if I can find it. Oh crap! Ugh. I'll be right back! And we're back, everyone. Alright, let's do this again! Round... What is it by now? Five? Counting the other times we tried and failed? Yeah, round five. Yeah, I'm just gonna stuff a whole bunch of mushrooms in my mouth. Come forward, mortal. I crave your soul. Yeah, you and everyone else, buddy. What makes you so special? God, I just wish I could remember the secret to being this guy. I did it before. Admittedly, I just whacked him a whole bunch of times, and then he fell off, Spartan Kick style. I'm actually pretty certain you have to knock the guy off at a certain side. What do you mean? Don't... Why do you have to take so long for that special? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna keep whacking this guy and hope for the best. Come on. Come on. No, come on. 
No, come on, I was clicking him. You're supposed to attack him when I click him. Do I need the freaking hammer of Mjolnir out? Is that what I need? You know, let's try that. Come closer and fight hand to hand, coward. Oh, okay. So he says no. Oh, and I just wasted my elixir of freaking life. Close. Come on, come on, yeah! Come on, no! No, you stupid banana! <sighs> Fuck it. And let's try that again. Yes, let's try it again. Man, it's aggravating. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got that. I just wish that when I hit him, it counted as a freaking hit. Come on, come on, he's almost at the edge! Come on! He's almost at the freaking edge! How can you fail? The only thing I can think to do is get... I'll be right back! Round eight, you arse face. Let's do this again! You know, I wouldn't be doing this if we didn't need armor. But you need armor. It's the only way to, like, survive fights. You need to be able to fight in this game. Come forward, mortal. I crave your soul. Now. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, is this guy just, like, the rebel leader or whatever does this guy just control like the death dimension now is he the reason why he it's so hard to win did he smash the mask come forward mortal i crave your soul Ugh, i crave your soul Ugh. come on dude let me move at least they say, back him off the tower. Back him off the tower. But how? He's constantly moving forward. God, I didn't have this much trouble in my practice playthrough. What happened to you? It's like every three hits hurts him, but not every hit seems to register. Come on! Knock him down! No, come on, come on, come on! Try hard face. That's all I'm doing. I'm just focusing on the fight. I'm not even doing anything else. Come on. Come on! Oh god, please, he is so... Freaking close. 
Just so that you're all aware, I discovered during this fight that the whole reason why I kept losing to him was because I was holding down the W button while I was also simultaneously attacking him, thus bugging out the AI, making it think it could move forward and hence pushing me backwards, and that's why I kept losing up until this fight. Now, I was just a little bit upset when I found out about this, so please, for those wearing headphones, turn them down, and if you're listening on speakers, turn those down too. It's going to get loud. Come on, he is so freaking close. My soul yes! Eat it! Eat it! Eat my shit! I know, I'm sorry, I swore, okay? I don't care! That skeleton can eat my feces for the rest of his eternal freaking death and put away the hammer of notch! Eat it, skeleton! You deserve everything you get. Everything. I'm gonna come down there. I'm going to suck the marrow from your bones! And you know what? Okay, I admit, I lost all the footage for um, when we actually fought the real boss and used the hammer in the most infuriatingly stupid possible way. But you know what? That isn't the hardest fight this is! Excellent. Chainmail will prove useful indeed. Yeah. Oh! Oh, isn't that handy? And it's only plus one armor! I... I think I need to calm down for a minute and... Maybe... Make a cup of tea. Just... You know... Rest and relax and not... RAGE! I'm moving the mic away from my mouth, because that was incredibly loud. I am very, 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 very upset right now. In case you didn't get that. Ugh. Okay, so basically, we used the magical MacGuffin key that the king gave us on this door. And, yeah, so we went in here. And we killed the skeleton boss. Took all his stuff. There were helpful skeletons. We healed ourselves with healing items. <sighs> then we pulled out the hammer, and we noticed this drawbridge was up, and it was blocking the portal. So what do you do? You throw the hammer at that thing. That's the only reason why you need this hammer. For no other reason than that. And you don't need to bother searching down there or that way. There's literally nothing in either place. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to save... And then we're going to go to the next place. I'll cut out the loading times. Where am I now? A swamp? Yes, indeed, you are, Connor. Yep, this is the third area. A swamp, which I actually kind of like, although it is... Like, it's it, it's actually very open, very large. And I like that. I like that a lot. It's, um, it's kind of intimidating, but in a good way, you know? Anyway, um... Yeah, so, as you can see over there, we have our first enemy, a water strider thing. Basically, yeah, uh, you, you want to hit it with your hammer and... Well, sort of. I forgot. The hammer is really inaccurate when it comes to actually fighting things. So what you want to do is wait till it gets close up and just whack it with your mace. Yeah, that does the trick. <laughs> really easily. And there's plenty of mushrooms here. Like, literally, they grow in the swamp, so... Like, there should be. Come on, grab it. Here we go. It's beyond my reach. Don't you dare give me that. Whew, okay, just gotta... Just gotta calm down. Just gotta... S slow down, you know, just... Slow down. You've got to slow down and take it easy. Slow down. I've got to slow down and not be pissed off. Alright, 
So as you can see here, we got these creepy alien looking things whispering something. Um, we're actually gonna need these uh, little guys for later. But in the meantime, it actually <laughs> it's actually kind of charming what like in a cutesy sort of way what happens when you get too close. They just sink right into the ground. Isn't that adorable? No? No. Well, screw you too then. You know, I'm within earshot. I could have sworn there was. Oh, th there it is. There's a bubble monster over here. These things, you can't really see them. But that's okay. You don't have to. All you have to know is that you got to hit them. And why am I turning around so much? Okay, you know what? Let's just take out this guy first. Yeah. Why was that bubble monster being such a prick? Alright, let's try using the hammer. See what happens. Okay, good. That killed it. So it's some sort of tentacle thing. So, you know. <laughs> racist joke. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I have more respect than that. I have more dignity. I'm not a jerk, sort of. Anyway, so, ah, okay, here's something I can talk about. That green water behind this dying guy. Um, it's completely poisonous, and while I don't think it'll kill you instantly, it definitely does a lot of damage, so you don't want to touch that. The only... This wouldn't be a problem. It'd be a very cool feature. It's just that there's a lot of green in the swamp, and sometimes you don't know whether you're walking into clean water with lily pads on it or poisonous water with lily pads on it. The game doesn't always make that sort of distinction, so you just have to avoid all green at all costs, unless you are certain that there is no poisonous water nearby. Uh, don't know where to go. Anyway, grab mushrooms first. Gonna need to stock up after that heinous boss battle. And, uh, in this area, we can find, actually, a golden mushroom. Uh, this isn't it. But the golden mushroom is, oh, hello, ogre, is the first ingredient that we need, um, for our spell of power right here. Permanent. Okay, sorry, I don't think I was Permanent close by. spell of might. Mead. A morsel of giant. Yeah, morsel giant mushroom. That's what we need. Golden mushroom, specifically. And like most good games, there's only one of that mystical thing anywhere in the world, ever. And this is it right here. I know it doesn't really look golden, it looks orange, but it's different from all the others, so... Voila. <laughs> we, we have some golden mushroom, everybody. Uh, enjoy it, it'll make you see funny things. Yeah, I'm just making a joke. Uh, I, I really don't use drugs at all because, well personal morality I believe that you don't need any sort of narcotics to enjoy life but then again that's me maybe I'm just a freaking idiot I, I wouldn't know well, actually I would know but as far as I'm concerned oh crap bubble monster and ogre ogre pull out your hammer of god and hit this thing with it hurry up and die thank you Yeah. Personally, between you and me, I get high on life. So in other words, yeah, it can be a pretty bad buzz. Get it? Get it? I'm using the lingo. I'm using the lingo that drug addicts use. <laughs> I'm so clever. Anyway, here's another potion of instant, not instant, infinite health. You're actually going to want this because... All these trees are enemies that give you lots of XP, and hitting them from afar won't work. Allow me to give you a good example. The assholes just laughed off the hammer of Thor. They freaking chuckled at Mjolnir. That's insulting to me. And when you insult me, oh boy, are you on my shit list. You are going to eat more shit than the average sewer croc. Come on, get close enough to hit these freaking things. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Yep, here's another one. No, get over here. 
thank you. See, I'm having so much easier time fighting things in the swamp. Probably because it doesn't seem as uh, condensed and it's more wide open and the color palette's more appealing to look at and enjoy. And suddenly I become an art snob. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm still a bit miffed, I guess you could say, about, uh, you know what? Well, several, you know what? Oh god, oh god, they're everywhere. Come on, deal damage to that thing! It's going to be such a pain later. Stuff mushrooms in my mouth while I fight these things! Oh god, I think I might actually die. How am I There's literally four surrounding me! I was in a. Yeah. Actually, this gives me a good idea for. Hey, uh, internet, do you think, uh, six, I think I'm counting that right, six, uh, adventurers in a Pathfinder game who are all level one, well, with the exception of two who have recently become level two, could fight four ogres on one? No comment, huh? Too nerdy even for you guys? Okay, I can deal with that. Uh, oh yes, up here is the teleporter, which I will get into after we take care of these little jerks. Jerk jays. Ingbats. Anyway, climb up here, and we unlock the teleportation room. Which means we can travel from the swamp to the deadlands to Daventry to... Well, a place to use my map. I can magically transport from here. Yes. Now, actually, this is actually something that shows great polish in the game. Notice how he is only stepping on the boards as he climbs down. In a game without that kind of attention to detail, to um, the walking animations and stuff, he'd probably just be walking on thin air. That being said, there is little to no polish in any other place in this game. So, you know it's pretty bad for me to be praising that. Insignificant, minor detail. So yeah, don't ask me why there's a portal here. I couldn't tell you. And my iPod is saying low battery, less than 20% remaining. Usually that means there's 20 minutes left on the iPod. We'll see. So pretty much when the iPod dies is when I'm going to end this episode. Or until the timer runs out. Whichever comes first. Could be either. There's about 20 minutes left on this. So yeah, perfect situation, really. Except the fact that my battery would die. And I do not want to touch the poison water. I want to go around it. Thus leading to another annoying area with deceptively simple enemies. These enemies die quickly and are usually able to pick off from far enough so you can hit them and they can't hit you. Sounds perfect, right? The only problem... There's a lot of them, and despite what my uh, brother, who also played this game when he was younger, says, I think they respawn. I, I can't confirm it. Probably not. I mean, otherwise that's unlimited XP grinding, despite how little XP it is. I mean, if you were watching the XP bar there, it barely went up a millimeter, but still, I stand by my point. Anyway, just hacking away at these guys. But what could we possibly be looking to get? I don't know. As far as I can remember, going here is pretty much a waste of time right now. But hey, if they don't respawn and we just clear the area, then we won't have to worry about it coming back. So, there we go. Come on. Come on. That was too far away for him to hit me. Aha! Level 16, idiot! Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try not to swear. I was just... I was just so angry. You understand that, right? And seriously, you think these plants would learn after a while, not to stick their noses where it hurts? <laughs> okay, I know they don't have noses, but still. I mean, come on. You got a guy who's just casually whacking you all the way. Like the world's most... Awesome gardener. And you're just like, Oh, yeah, I bet you I can take a chunk out of this guy's face. No, no, you can't. Y you really can't. No one can stop Connor of Daventry. <laughs> so, 
See, I love how far away you can actually hit these guys without them actually being able to attack you. I mean, he's nowhere near this guy. Oh, never mind. Bad example. Bad example. Uh oh. One of them. Okay, good. We got rid of him before it became too much of a problem. Okay, just keep killing these things, grinding up easy XP for no other reason than the fact that there's probably an item if I sort of kind of recall. And you know, I gotta wonder what kind of diseases is Connor getting from wandering around in a swamp that's clearly infested with foul things. Not exactly the cleanliest swamp. Now, now I know what you're saying. Oh, no swamps cleanly, but technically they are natural uh, ecosystem cleaners. Well, that and marshlands. So anyway, I'm just gonna wander down here. It's basically backtracking, yeah, but I mean, if there's any plant things, uh, we can take care of that. There, take this one! Oh god, I hear them. See, look, I swear to god, they weren't there before! I must have aggroed them or something. What the hell? That was scary. You just see one slowly sinking back into the depths. And I don't know why I'm using so many voices right now. I guess I'm just in that sort of mood. It's a way I can relieve stress. It, uh, yeah. It makes me less stressed to use random voices that I think are funny and no one else does. They think it's overused, stupid, and completely pointless. Yeah, that little deep breath calmed me right the heck down. I mean, I'm feeling way better. Chainmail skeleton? Chainmail skeleton! Okay, I guess I'm not over it yet. Guess I'm not over it yet. Anyway, just keep whacking away at least. Yep. Fun, fun, fun! Don't you just stop that? Is this nostalgia just kicking in for you? Yeah, is this nostalgia just flowing through your veins? Anyway, pixies. We can talk to them. Hello, small creatures. Who are you? Swamp wisps, stranger! Or that. Eat holiday flowers, drink honeydew, annoy frogs, but of most import, we collect secrets. Tis our passion! <laughs> where do you find such secrets? All around! One just needs to know where to seek! If we do avoid the witch's cold, as she has been specially nasty since the dreadful tempest. For soup! And her poisonous water makes us so ill! Tell me, good wisps, how can one protect himself against this poisonous water? Tut! We know something which can guard against poisonous swamp water. In return for a nice, juicy secret. What? Yes, a secret. Bring us a delicious secret and we shall give you an antidote for the poisonous water. Well, I shall try. Thank you, good wisps. All right, so that pretty much outlines what we need to do. We need to find a secret, which in case any of you randomly guessed, means that we need to go get the secret from those whispering fellows. And are you kidding me? There's, <sighs> There's another one. You missed one. In fact, you missed two because I see one off in the distance. Did I? Yeah, yeah, I did. How <laughs> do I miss these guys? You think once you sweep an area, it stays swept. Yeah, I swear, I swear to God, these guys respawn. They freaking respawn. That's insane. So anyway, now looking at the map, which I keep forgetting is not the M key. We uh, have to go somewhere. <laughs> I think we need to go fight those tree guys. We, we basically need to get a... Oh, I remember where we need to go. I just don't remember what direction it is. I'm so smart. Aren't you glad you chose to watch this Let's Play over the other two? 
that exists? I bet you are. <laughs> now, is there any way I can just get around these guys? Let's see if I can aggro this ogre. Piss him off enough. Yeah. Come and fight me, foul beast. Ooh. Ooh, nasty. Can I keep from aggroing the trees? I really don't want to aggro the trees. Idiot. See, it tickles them. They like it. We're all good friends. And this was the wrong way to go, but technically I managed to sneak past all the trees. And I only really need to take out the one then. To prove my... Okay, technically the two. Basically what you want to do is take out these things first. Because they will be your bane and they'll keep you from actually hitting the uh, tree guy. Who won't freaking take damage. Okay, apparently I vastly underestimated the power of the tree. But hey, I killed him and now he's just regular. Hey, level up. Eat it. Can I reach that from here? Oh yeah, there's a dead guy in the tree. Fun. Come on, just a bit farther. Unlucky fellow. Assuredly, I shall fare better. And just like that, we managed to aggro the one tree I was trying to avoid aggroing. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on, yes! Eat it! Now, can we take out the... Oh, yeah. That's another thing that's really stupid. We traded in the Hammer of God for a bow and arrow. And somehow it does more damage. But it still makes these guys chuckle like little... Freaks. On the plus side, it fires a lot faster and is a lot more accurate. Stop laughing at me! Anyway, um, I think that's all the time we have for this episode. So, uh, in the next episode, we will continue through the... Yeah, sorry. We will continue through the swamp. Uh, most likely finish it. Hopefully finish it. I really hope we finish it. Probably, maybe find another mask piece. You never... You, you, you never know. You never know. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Fantastic Mr. LP, out.